Hello guys and welcome to episode 22 of this series. Um, as you know, we are trying to collect all of the um, Disney Pixar cars diecast that are out there. I'll obviously never succeed in this, but it's nice to fill out the uh, Take 5 a Day book that we have. Um, so yeah, let's get on to this uh, haul. Obviously, this is a carry-on from episode 21. If you've missed that, go back and have a look um, and then come back to this one. Um, but yeah, let's go have a look um, of this £80 haul. First up, we have from the Cars Toons universe is Frightening McMean. Obviously, a play on words of... Lightning McQueen, um, the monster truck from the Cars Toons episode, um, yeah, pretty cool indeed. Um, happy with that. I was surprised I could get this. Um, I didn't think I'd be able to get it as easy as I did, but I did. Um, so yeah, on to the next car of this episode. Uh, you can see that I've left last episodes out because it's all in the same haul. I'm probably just going to go move it now just to make this give me a little bit more room. I'll be right back. So we have now Lightning McQueen, correct, Rusty's logo, obviously on the rear. I haven't actually got this one yet. Um, and also a lifted um, eyelid, so I know it was that one. So yeah, pretty cool to add um, the correct Lightning McQueen to the collection. On to the next one. Next up, we have segmented Lenecula Lightning McQueen. Uh, you can tell he's segmented by the front of the car here. So, yeah, not much to say, but, yeah, on to the next one. I promise not all of these are Lightning McQueen's. But, yeah, this is uh, Lightning McQueen with Cone, the Lenecula version. Um, as you can see, he's got it left to right. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool to add to the collection. On to the next one. Hey, it's not a Lightning McQueen. It's a Light Year Blimp uh, from apparently the Cars 3 universe. But I'm pretty sure the Light Year Blimp's in also Cars 1 as far as I'm aware. But anyway, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below. Um, so yeah, pretty cool to add the blimp to the collection. It was quite a hard one to find, to be fair. Uh, people wanted a lot of money for him, so I managed to get it in a bundle. So happy days. Next up, we have Lost in Desert Mini. Um, didn't have this one, so it's nice to tick off uh, the list. And um, we've obviously got uh, her other half as well, uh, somewhere in this episode. Um, so let's keep it going and find. And he's next. We have Lost in Desert Van. Um, you can see the gross moss coming out the side of it. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Absolute petrified face. It's actually quite creepy in all honesty. Um, but yeah, that's another one to tick off the list. Next up, we have Rescue Squad Mater from the Cars 2 universe. Obviously, basically just red, um, but in Mater format. Um, pretty cool. I do like this episode, actually. It's just quite funny that he's in a lot of uh, the, uh, them in just stupid formats. I'm wondering whether that's where the burnt queen's from. That might be the possibility. I can't remember. But anyway, on to the next one. We have Road Repair McQueen. You can tell because he's got the nice splodge on his front there. His annoying little face to say, please help me to these two characters here uh, when he's pulling Betsy along. We don't have Betsy. Um, I would like to get Betsy, but it's, it's quite expensive to be fair with Betsy. So if you have any leads, just let me know. Or if you've got one to sell, even better. Give us a shout. Uh, but yeah, on to the next one. Next, we have Sally with Cone, apparently from the Cars 1 universe. Oh, yeah, this is when she uh, gets embarrassed by McQueen as she's reversing and gets a cone on her head as, after um, her nice little um, cheeky tattoo has been found. Uh, but, yeah, pretty cool. Um, I've watched that movie too many times. So I'm, I'm not realising that. Uh, but, yeah, uh, that is that. On to thy next one. So we have a racer here, um, Sputter Stop from Cars 1. Uh, you can tell just by the oldness of the style, uh, but I much prefer this style. It's so cool. Uh, the next gen, that's the one thing of Cars 3 that I don't like, is just the next gen. Yeah, they don't even look like that in NASCAR now, so why have they made them look like that? Anyway, um, yeah, I'm a bit of a NASCAR fan as well, even though I'm British. Um, so yeah, on to the last couple of cars now. Next up, we have The Tormentor, obviously. It's Mater dressed up um, for the episode with this bad boy down here. Um, so, yeah, 
pretty cool design um, I do like it. Again, I was surprised I managed to get hold of these two, but yeah, pretty good. A little bit of a chip on the roof um, from probably someone doing this like I'm doing now. Uh, but yeah, and no tow hook apparently, or whether they had a tow hook originally, I'm not sure, but I don't actually know if you could see that, what I was doing, because it's that big and I can't get it on the screen. Um, so yeah, happy days. Uh, let's get on to the last episode, uh, the last episode, the last car of the episode. So we have Waitress Flow. Obviously, there is Waitress Mia and Tia, so this one finishes off that set there nicely. Um, they're pr probably somewhere underneath here right now, but I am not going to fish them out. Um, so yeah, that is that. Pretty cool to add uh, this to the collection, and nice having a flow that's not had its face smashed in. Um, so yeah, that has been that. So thank you for watching episode 22. Um, I'm sure there'll be more of these to come. I haven't bought any more yet because I'm trying to stop myself from buying them at the moment uh, because I think I have enough episodes to lead me to wherever this episode is. I'm going to say December, November, December time um, if you're seeing this. So yeah, pretty cool indeed. Thank you for watching. And um, we and all these cars, which now I realise make me look like a bit of a nerd. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.